like to have fun. I have no friends. No one will play with me. Uh oh. There's a friend in need. Hey, cheer up! Who are you? I'm a good guy. I've just come from the Good Guy Clubhouse. And I'll be your friend. Here's the third installment of the Child's Play series. Before Seed and before Bride, there was this misfit. Seed and Bride, I don't know what to make of them, but this is from the original trilogy as I see it, and it stands out as the black sheep, no doubt. Chucky doesn't directly go after Andy as a primary target, now it's some annoying kid in a role that's nothing more than Chucky fodder as far as I can see. Chucky needs a goal though, right? In the innocence of a child, it kind of works really well. Andy's sent to military school at 16. I mean, this place would be hell for me. I'd probably end up going all full metal jacket with like a rifle in my mouth on a toilet somewhere. Hi, Pat here from HMRG with my little... I don't know. Anyways, but uh, Child's Play 3, so just to start it off, the factory, I mean, why didn't they clean it up? It's so funny, they come in there to like, kind of like, I don't know, get the mess cleaned up, but this must be years later because Barkley was like, what, 10 or 11 or something like that? And then four years this factory's been sitting there, there's cobwebs everywhere, they haven't removed anything except for I guess the boxes. Did they remove the boxes? How would you know? But anyways, they removed the boxes and uh, I guess that's... And then they come down and they, and they clamp this thing and then the blood falls into the, the plastic. Uh, I'll get into that later, uh, why that doesn't make any sense. Does that make sense to you? Does that make sense to you? Yeah, I complain too much? All right. So, um, anyways, it's amazing. Why do they keep trying to manufacture this doll? It's the worst PR thing ever. I mean, after everything that's happened, they, they're determined to get this freaking doll out. It blows my mind. And, uh, hey, man. Get in the groove. Get in the groove. It's my homeboy. My homeboy. Anyway, so I don't know why they didn't clean up the factory. It's disgusting. And then, how is that factory ready for production? Like, they just immediately start, like, reproducing dolls in this factory that, uh, apparently they, whatever, uh, and then it's kind of funny, they go, they go to the CEO boardroom, uh, or the board of director, whatever you call those things, anyways, they're at the big table, and, uh, the guy's like, we're gonna put this in production, man, he's so hell-bent, man, he's a sociopath, isn't he, it's almost like he did something crazy one time, and the other person sitting beside him doesn't even fucking know, doesn't even fucking know. Do you know anything about that? You sure? Chucky is launched again because of spilt blood. I swear that is a hammer horror move, but anyways. Why aren't there any other dolls? I mean, I, I'm gonna bring this up maybe a couple times, but the blood did mix with other plastic and stuff, but forget it. The smug dismissal of the Barkley incident I love because when the CEO gets nixed, I bet he was thinking about Andy. I had an in-your-face moment there, I have to admit. What a douche this guy is though, I mean look at his office, he has a bar and a bunch of toys, I don't know, what a dink. So from here Chucky somehow knows how to use a computer, I mean wasn't he created in like 1988 so I don't know how he's up to date on how to do this. For some reason he has the skills and more surprisingly they have an up to date file on Andy Barkley, I don't know why. And it's literally up to date, Andy's driving to school in the next scene going to the military school like the other Andy from Shawshank Redemption and Chucky's reading it. Does it update in real time or something? That's pretty impressive for what, 1991 or something this came out? Then there's the characters, I mean you have Sheldon, Sheldon's a complete dick. Uh, he plays it up well too, I don't, uh, you know, he did, he did a great job, I mean he's over the top, that's alright. And uh, although he's not too like imposing, uh, I guess he's loud and stuff like that but I, I wouldn't be too. Uh, intimidated by the guy. Uh, then there's, what's that guy's name? White Horse, White something, but the, the kid with the glasses. Um, it kind of looks like that dude from uh, anyway, some other movie. Uh, he's alright. Uh, Andy, Andy's a geek. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to say about him other than the fact that he looks strikingly like Wesley Crusher from Star Trek uh, TNG. But, uh, I, anyways, yeah, I know. Where's my glasses? I should. Anyways, uh, and then of course there's De Silva. I don't know what her first name is. I don't care. I just I see her. And I'm, oh. 
And uh, I guess I got a thing for like the tomboys or whatever, but she's a really cool character. Uh, she's like raiding into Tommy from the beginning. She has like that cool smile. Um, do, you, do you like the solo? Do you like the solo? What? Oh, man, I'm taking my glasses back. Don't speak about her like that. What? Oh, that's, that's, that's fucking dirty, man. That's fucking dirty. But seriously, man, I want to have a hard heart with you. Why is she so into Andy, man? I mean, she looks through his profile, right? And it, like, the doll thing or whatever, like, I know you've had your history, it's okay, man, I understand, but, like, he's got the, the profile of a budding serial killer. He's a nerd, he's got an awful haircut. Better than the one he showed up with, I'll give him that. But, like, how is she his type? Why not, you know? I think I know what you said was inappropriate, but I would totally do that to her. Uh, I, yeah, that too. Uh, but, uh, why? Why, Andy? You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of Megan and Tommy from Part 6. Remember, uh, Friday the 13th Part 6? And then Tommy's kind of like a douchey little whatever, and then Megan's like, in love with the guy, I don't know, you understand? Maybe one day when you meet a female doll, or watch doll movies, uh, I mean, maybe you'll understand. Maybe you'll understand, but it means me. Oh, and I forgot to mention, you can't blame the kid, because I mean, who doesn't love a doll? I mean, some dolls are a little bit uh, freaky, but uh, my buddy, I remember my buddy from the 80s, and you know, uh, I wish I still had a My Buddy doll. I wonder what I would do, like as an adult with a My Buddy doll. Would I still be as pumped about that? My buddy, my buddy, my buddy, my buddy, my buddy. wherever I go. Everything that I know My buddy and me Like to climb up a tree My buddy and me When the best friends it could be My buddy My buddy My buddy My buddy My buddy and me My buddy From Play School Anyways, in all fairness though I mean uh, I complained a little bit about Andy uh, I kind of think everything should be targeted at him uh, but they do need the child for the innocence factor. I mean, you're not going to fool uh, a guy like me or, I don't know, like an adult. You're just not, not going to pull that off. And frankly, and not to be insulting, but you're not that big. So out in the open to adults, you understand that you're generally not... I know you're... I know you did that. I shot the video. And I'm disappointed, but that's not the point. The point is, is that... You're not supposed to kill people, but it's hard to kill an adult. That's why they needed the kid. But the kid was annoying, you know. He reminds he yeah, him too. Uh, I can't get over how much he reminds me of the Reggie character from Friday the 13th Part 5. You see that? That's good one. Uh, he, he reminds me of, of that kid. Uh, just kind of this pointless runaround character. His dialogue sucked. Um, it did. It, it, I know you guys can't hear him, but it did suck. It sucked. His dialogue sucked. And the problem with it is, is he's just this runaround character that you don't actually really care about. And um, so Chucky's stuck in between revenge with Barkley and then trying to get in uh, uh, to this kid's soul. Um, another thing about Chucky's uh, voodoo stuff, too, is he takes way too long. You didn't do your own voodoo, you had to get somebody else to help you. Mind you, then again, Charles did too, I guess the guy from part one. But, you know, it varies, like, at one point it takes, like, 30 seconds in, in part three. I think in, in part one it took some, no, he did it pretty quick in the, in the store, right? Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, he did. He did it pretty quick in the store, but then part two it took a lot longer, so, I, you know, I get confused as to the duration of what he needs. Because um, then later on. Anyways, so that always kind of perplexed me. So as far as the uh, settings concerned, it, it's actually a bit static and, and a little bit stale because they're just on uh, the military, so the school base, the school boot camp, I don't know, I've never been to one of these things, but I'd be out of there pretty quick. Um, but it, it feels very static, and then so they're just in the school and then they go to the, the, the forest or whatever, and that's kind of a change, and then of course at the end of the movie, uh, they're at that carnival, or where are they? The fair, right? Yeah. On. Yeah, we're at the fair. Or carnival, I don't know, who cares. And it's just too bright, like it's just such a change of, uh, I don't know, but I will say that carnival's a little bit freaky, and then that last thing that he's on top of, that ride, like who makes a ride like that? Like, it's 
supposed to be for kids. It's like showing up, giving this fucking thing to a kid. Kids gonna have issues and, and shit, especially with the, you'd give somebody issues with the holiday season. Like if I handed that to my niece, if I handed you to my niece, what the fuck would that do to her? Nah, I just love you, man. But anyways, it's a weird, it's a weird kind of ship. Uh, the barber, the barber's hilarious. I mean, uh, his obsession with hair is. is uh, I, I'm not sure why they put it in the movie, but I'm glad they did because it's, he's kind of, I don't know, he's not in it much. He's in it like two two or three scenes. Um, I think he just tells somebody to get their hair cut. Of course, Barkley at the beginning. Then Sh Shel no, Shelton was the other guy, the geek kid. And then he actually goes, and this is how twisted the guy is, whatever his complex is. He tries to shave uh, Chucky's head. I mean, what? Oh, well, okay, we'll just keep your hat on. You don't have hair, but it would be like me. You know, shaving my beard and then going, what the fuck, and then like shaving this guy. Like, that is complex. So, I mean, the only thing I can say is just don't stay single too long or you'll end up like that barber. What's that? Well, yeah, well, you have experience in trying to get away with it, I understand. What an excellent... You know what? So, uh, Sandy here, he's got an excellent solution. I agree with him. Uh, Andy's trying to fix this or save this kid, right? Uh, I say fuck him, because here's how you get Chucky. Because you blow him up, you cut him up, whatever, doesn't work, right? Uh, he says he always comes back. It's true. Uh, what was that? Uh, Bride of Chucky's in the grave. So, uh, Sandy, great idea. Fuck the kid. Let him take over the kid. Andy knows where that kid is. You can either shoot that kid. I know you shouldn't. I know, everybody always gets on me for shooting kids. But honestly, it's a horror movie. It's not really real. But fuck the character. Shoot that kid. Or after letting uh, uh, Chucky get into him, then Chucky's dead. Uh, or, but make sure you kill him. Not like the first one where you take some weak shots, sauce, and kind of fades out and does the doll because it's right. Anyways, but uh, um, yeah, and then put him in jail, and then boom, you got the whole thing solved, and fuck that kid anyway. So, uh, man, you, you're a thinker. You're a, you're a doer. You're gonna go places. One thing that completely perplexes me about the film is how in the hell did Chucky get himself delivered? I mean, it's wrapped. No money, so who sent him? And how did they get it to the right person? I mean, it went to the right address. Uh, so, I, I, I mean, I don't get that. And typically, you need somebody to drop it off, don't you? So, I don't know. It just seems a little bit strange to me. Uh, Curse of Chuck Chucky, it makes sense, I guess, because I suppose Jennifer Tilly was the one that sent it, which kind of confuses the timeline a bit for me, but that's another story. Uh, but he would have had to wrap himself, get the money for delivery, get it delivered to the right person, and there's no way he did that himself. And even if he wrote everything down and like stole some money, how in the hell did he wrap himself up in a... Anyways, it's a little strange. You gotta fix your belt for this stuff, man. You can't just go on the air like this all... You know, just... Anyways. But, uh, tell you the truth, uh, there isn't actually a lot to say about this movie. I mean, uh, for the most part, it's, uh, it's pretty bland. Um, there's a couple of cool scenes. I mean, the best part of the movie are uh, Chucky's quotes, basically. Uh, he, he probably has the most... I mean, there was Don't Fuck With the Chuck, and the best was in, in, in part one where he freaks out on the mom. That was, I mean, that was the big moment for him when he first gets animated like that. But he's got a whole bunch of really cool uh, one-liners. Um, now, what the hell, should we play a couple for him? Nothing like a strangulation to get the circulation going. Just think, Chucky's gonna be a bro. So there's view lines from Chucky. They're classics, man. They're absolute classics. Uh, they make you laugh. Uh, they give you a good laugh. Read right, right in the belly. Read right in the belly type of laugh. Anyway, uh, but you know what's kind of screwed up, though? Uh, did I already mention this? But uh, well, why? Why does? Why is he going after Andy anyways? Like, there's, if they played off the revenge factor, fine. But why in number two, because remember in this movie, he goes, I got a new body, so I'll go after this Tyler kid who, you know, I'm advocating for because I think it would solve the problem. Uh, but, you know, in number two, that was that not a new body? Like, that's, that's a new body, so why do you have the same uh, problem with Andy? And also, uh, there's a progression of him uh, turning from a doll into a human being, and uh, in this movie, uh, that's kind of tossed out the window. Like, I mean, he takes he takes some damage later on in the uh, in the movie, but I don't know. When did he start turning? Does it, does it start over again? Is he already flesh? Is it too late? And then by the time the other movie hit later on down the road, there seems to be no timeline uh, for him to get out of this body. 
Overall, it's not a bad movie. I mean, it's bland, and given what we saw from part one and part two, is it a letdown? Yeah, it kind of is, but whatever. I mean, the story changes and there's less focus on Barkley, and as the target changes to another character that is of less interest, um, and actually about that character, uh, I forget his name, but Tyler, I think it is. Anyways, it kind of reminds me of Reggie from part five, from Friday the 13th, in the sense that he's like this young kid um, that is much younger than the rest of the cast and kind of in danger and all that, so there's similarities between that. Uh, whatever, it doesn't matter, but I, I, I don't like either character. I don't know if they just, who cares? This is supposed to be a voiceover, so I can't ramble on. Anyways, I'm not sure why Andy's relieved either when Chucky goes into the thing and kind of gets blended up. I mean, the fucking thing keeps coming back, so what are you so relieved about? I say still go with my idea of putting Chucky into this kid's body and just putting him in jail. It would solve so many problems but anyways Barkley needs to let this go and so does Chucky man they've got unfinished business so that's the end of it as far as Barkley is concerned at the end of this movie unless you want to count the extra scene at the end of Curse of Chucky sorry for spoiling that but if you hang on you see it just think Chucky's gonna be a bro 